Hey guys, good morning. Today I have a really fun announcement, something I really hoped would happen this December. It looks like it's gonna happen, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Oh, and a big thanks to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. But first, Eli and I have come to our local farm to pick up milk. We get our milk once a week out here. It's actually the same farm that we bought our milk cows from that are not in milk right now, <laughs> so we still buy our milk. Uh, and so while I'm in there, I'm hoping to see Mindy or Kyle, who are the farmers out here, and find out when our cows are in heat. I think I know when one of them is just by their dates, so I need to find out the other one. Who even am I? <laughs> but we gotta get these cows, at least one of them. We need to get one of them pregnant so that we have milk next year, like fall-ish. Can't seem to figure out when they're in heat, so <laughs> hopefully they know. And this is Mindy here on the, oh, I got a handful of milk <laughs> on the right, and she helped me a lot. Now I'm going to be AIing myself. Yeah, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> okay, Mindy was so helpful with contacts and learning to recognize the signs of heat. We need a calf, a baby, on the homestead. Can you imagine us when a, Working a cow through delivery, <laughs> then we'll really wonder who are we. Here's some cute cows that our cows used to be sisters with. The other thing Mindy helped me a lot with, and every time I talked to her, is cow behavior. And he, it was good Eli was there too because he works with them. But um, just knowing and recognizing their behaviors and what is like what could seem maybe aggressive to me is just playful or whatever. We're just learning those things and it takes time to learn what their behavior is like because it's not the same as a dog or a cat or a chicken. And because they're so large, it can be intimidating. And I also know that animals sense fear. And so one time at, when the, one of them was chasing and kind of jumping on me, I have been real nervous with them ever since and I know they sense that. And so I still try to spend time with them every day and just, um, but also I'm wanting to be out of their way if they're too playful. So I think they were playful and I just wasn't sure. So anyway, I'm learning slowly. Solo's learning slowly and it's just a process. So it's good to talk to people who really know cows. I was gone a little longer than I thought I would be because I talked for a minute. These guys are playing happily here. Micah supervised school for me, which we've moved the desks from over there just to, for more space up here to our school area makes it very crowded up here because we got beds and our little dressers but it's working seems like they did very good two children two children finished while I was gone Tori has a other space that she normally works she must just like the chair <laughs> but in our new house we're gonna have a loft just like this and it will be the school room so I told them we can practice it was perfectly clean this morning but of course I'm gonna be six when we have the new house mm-hmm I it's bet. Gonna, I hope it's gonna be seven and a half. I have so much to do right now because of what I'm doing this month and I just have running lists constantly. I'm literally having to schedule in a little downtime just so I make sure I don't get myself burned out. Next on my list I have some sourdough starter here that's all ready and I need to make something out of it. I think I'm gonna make something that we can eat tonight for dinner. Maybe just some English muffins and if we have leftover the kids will have uh, that later this month we can put them in the freezer easily. English muffin dough is also quick and easy. I'm looking for quick and easy things. My list is just too long today. Okay, I'm whipping up a quadruple batch of English muffins and then I'm going to go ahead and put my starters to bed for a while. They're gonna go to the fridge and just rest. Those kids get, did get school done very fast working up there. We've already finished school, cleaned it up. My middle kids and older kids are still working but um, we already cleaned up all the mess and it looks nice up there. Now they're coloring quietly up there. So sometimes just the change of scenery helps them. I figure um, it's giving us more space down here for now and they, we can always bring our work down here. The nice thing about doing school upstairs is we got some wide open spaces. So the neighbor just rang the doorbell and she found Gable, our livestock guardian dog, in her yard. And she says he's been coming over a lot lately. I did not even realize it because every time I look out, I see him, so I'm not sure when he's getting out. Um, but he is crossing the fence line. I'm sure Nessa, our little dog, who is a runner, uh, taught him how to go over there. And uh, the problem is she was really nice about it. They think he's adorable. 
don't mind him over there, but she has seen him in the road, so I'm so glad she told me. Um, I don't want him over there, but I also, I also don't want him in the road for sure. And so um, we have tied him up. I knew that day was coming soon, that he would need to be tied. Oh, there he is. He's on the couch there. Poor guy, he's like, what has happened to my freedom? I love that they were just running around the yard, but now unfortunately both of them are gonna have to be tied up. So Solo and I are looking for underground fencing that's like an open loop, because we can't fence in our entire property. But the underground um, fencing, We've just heard great things about it, so that's what the neighbors use to train their dogs. We plan to do property walks with him. We were gonna wait till spring. I thought he would be at the great age to start doing property walks, so we might need to start doing that now, I guess. I just feel like I've had so many interruptions today, but I've got such a long list. Oh, she, she felt like her eyebrow hurt, so she put a big band-aid on it. I think it's gonna hurt more taking that band-aid off than <laughs> any pain she had in her eyebrow. It looked fine, by the way. These pomegranates are so good. I have done a lot today, but I have so much left to do. It's kind of overwhelming, but I've been trying to be really better about just taking some time to rest every day, a little time. I've come up to my peaceful bedroom <laughs> to try to make myself just rest. I have an aunt who, she, she has 10 children and she homeschooled them all. And she would rest, I think, for two hours every day. She's very disciplined about it and it's the way she functioned well. I've tried to do something like that, not two hours even, and I just lay there and think of all the things I have to do. But it is really important for us to get some rest, especially when we're just going constantly from when we wake up to when we go to bed, which is what moms do. <laughs> Whether you're working outside the home or you're working at home, you are going constantly. It can be so easy, Solo's been getting on me, like just sit down and <laughs> stop for a minute. One thing I really love to do to when I rest is play on my phone a little bit, and I love June's Journey. June's Journey is a game I've been playing for a while. It's a fun, like, lighthearted murder mystery where you find missing pieces and you're getting the clues along the way. I've been playing it for quite a while, months now, and even my daughters both play it, Tori and Belle like it as well. June's Journey is a free game that you can download and it just has such colorful, beautiful pictures. It's got a real vintage look, which makes it very fun. You're decorating a mansion as you go and um, you just keep getting more and more scenes. As you're getting more scenes, you're getting more clues, you're guessing what could possibly have happened. It is not creepy in any way. It's just really fun and lighthearted and I really enjoy it. It's a great way to relax. You can download June's Journey for free by clicking the link in the description box. It's also available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. 30 minutes was good for me. The baby slept. She didn't sleep. She talked the whole time, so I got her out of bed. Uh, but that's usually her nap time when I try to rest, and then the kids do something quietly or play outside. I'm about to whip my kitchen into shape, but I was just pouring myself a kombucha, homemade. And look at that. Foam, oh, I'm getting better at this. Today's a Monday. We generally take Mondays off, but we're trying to switch it to Fridays and try it out for a while, just to like get a running start on the week and maybe be able to relax a little better on Fridays. That's the, that's the goal. We're not gonna rest in around here. So much to do all the time, but I think Fridays will make it a little bit easier. We're just gonna try it. So since today's a Monday, I feel like we're all a little off. We only started this last week and kind of foggy, you know? Everybody, even Solo called me from work and said he's kind of foggy, but tonight when he comes home, we're gonna make the final decision um, about something that we're gonna announce to you t later today and <laughs> tell you about. But um, I've been canning up some black beans. I got eight of them done uh, Saturday and they're just sitting out here. I need to do another eight, round of eight. So I wanna get that in for sure. Hope is frying up tortillas just cause they're good that way. We're gonna fry yours oh, next. My paper plate. I don't know where it went. Oh, you're gonna do it for her? Thank you. You guys found a sledding hill, huh? Yeah, there's not enough snow now, but there's enough to sled down it because it's like s steep <laughs> sliding down. And it's, and it's, so it's really big. Wow, it's so you did it, Tori did it, Hope did it? Yeah, Hope did it. Hope, oh, that was very tip. brave. I did it too. Wow. I have no hands on this um, spot. They're not trees real close, right? That you could bang into? Uh, if there's enough snow and you don't stop it at all, uh, you might hit something. Oh boy. The most dangerous sled we had, I went on it on the hill and with my hands up. Wow. And the hill's about 15 feet. 
Yeah, but the scariest thing Whoa. is when no one's tried it yet. Mom, <laughs> yeah, the Mom, first time. I have the biggest you don't know what's gonna happen. Wow, that's so fun. And put my hands up. Wow. We had a great Thanksgiving, although we didn't vlog it. We had company over. This house was packed, of course. <laughs> it's always packed. We had family and friends. A small house is not going to keep us from having people over, that's for sure. Um, but I'll tell you what else is for sure. We're going to really appreciate the space. Cooking Thanksgiving dinner the way we do it, like all of us cooking in here, just was impossible. Um, we're used to a bigger kitchen and still feeling crowded <laughs> because all my kids love getting involved in cooking. So Belle did a lot of it. I did a lot of it. Solo did a lot of it. And the kids did a couple things like at the table and stuff, but it was just... It was a lot. We posted a very fun video on that day and I know people don't usually watch videos much on Thanksgiving Day, but if you haven't seen it, I would love if you went back and looked at that video just because I'm really proud of it. I think it's so cute and is one we'll go back and watch a lot. And Judah was on it too. He sent some clips from Japan. So I'll share it down below. I also wanted to give you a quick update on our Iowa experience. We, Solo and I talked about how we broke down in Iowa. Well, he ended up, if you're interested in how that story ended, he ended up having to spend a couple days, we rented a car, my friends and I, to get home. And he stayed a couple days in Grinnell, Iowa, which is just the middle of nowhere. But it turned out that we found the cutest hotel in the town. We hadn't made it as far as in the town before. It was so beautiful it was hotel grinnell <laughs> shout out to hotel grinnell such a beautiful place he had a couple days by himself he ended up having time to study and work on some um, licensure stuff he needed to do for his business and it just worked out really well the town was like a christmas movie town there were such good restaurants and coffee shops and a library right next door and a church next door and a beautiful park and it was all lit up for christmas and it ended up being so cute like i would totally go visit that town and at first we thought it was just nothing so that's a big update Belle and Luca just got back from decorating Grandma's house for Christmas. Thanks yep. for doing that. She called me to tell me, man, you have such good kids, and my apartment looks so nice. <laughs> she said she fed you sandwiches, too. Yeah, they're actually really good. Oh, that's good. Bussin', if I do say so. Bussin'. <laughs> Next up, I'm making all the phone calls I didn't want to make. I just called the vet for getting the cats fixed. They're six months old, and it's time. I called the groomer to get the dog groomed. I gotta call a doctor for a couple kids that need to see somebody. And I gotta call the vet, a different vet, for the artificial insemination for my cows. <laughs> I don't wanna make any of these phone calls. This child is ready for some snow fun. And we don't have much snow. No, I'm always sledding. Every snow it's ice, except there's sun. Yeah, I'm going out to sled, and I'm just getting all of this on. Hey, you want to get the leg with me, Chuck? I don't want my clothes to get dirty. Gotcha. All right, I got a hold of the artificial insemination guy, and he told me that I need to get out there and watch him every morning. And actually, today would be the day that the one I know is be about the day. Um, that she would be in heat, so so probably about three weeks from today. Um, I have to just watch them like every morning and watch for one mounting the other, and the one being mounted is the one in heat. So I'm like, do I have to watch them for hours? <laughs> I don't have hours. He's like, no, no, but you'll know when they're acting different. And I was like, could you, could will you I know? <laughs> we have a little snow left, <laughs> not much, but they will make use of what we got. How's that mango? <laughs> I just went out and took care of those cows and they seem very sweet today. The one is, it's her date that she should be in heat and I noticed nothing so uh, they're just happily eating <laughs> but they let me pet them and talk to them. They're actually very friendly so I have hope. All right, I've got some orange peels here, white vinegar, I'm making some cleaner. This will just sit for a couple weeks. We may add more orange peels. So it'll wait, we'll keep it down. After it sits for a couple weeks, I pour it into a glass bottle and it's marked vinegar cleaner. This one was made with lemon and lime peels and then it smells not so much like vinegar, I love it. Everything is finally coming together for me. We got a doctor's appointment for the week, we got Cats in tomorrow morning. They had a cancellation, so they want to see them all tomorrow. 
no food after midnight, so we have to take their food away. That worked out really good because we probably would have been waiting for a while for those cats and I did not want an accident to happen. They are all half siblings. I'm glad to be getting it over with tomorrow. Wow, who is this child? Someone who has to learn stage makeup and doesn't wear <laughs> mascara ever. Have you ever worn a face of makeup like that? Ha no, actually, I just bought like foundation for the first time. Because wow. I never wanted it. Oh, it looks good, Bao. So she's practicing stage makeup for the play, I mean the musical. Guys, I feel like I'm dragging out my news for you, and I, I know that's frustrating. Sorry about that. I just really wanted to tell you when Solo was home, and he's not home yet. He's taking forever. You have some lovely piano music in the background. We finally got a speaker for that piano, that little keyboard, and so it's nice. We're used to our baby grand piano in our bigger house, and I've kind of missed the sounds, actually. I can't even believe I'm saying that, but it's nice to hear the piano again. I need to get a bunch of bread made. I need a lot of bread in my freezers. I'm starting very late in the day. That was good, Luca. I'm sort of very late in my day. Uh, but I'm going to use my bread machine to just get some yeast bread going because it freezes well and um, it's quick to make a lot of it. So uh, that will make me feel like I'm accomplishing something because I'm starting to just feel nervous like I'm not getting enough done on these lists. Wow, well, I was working in the kitchen. I decorated my bed for Christmas. Wow, do you think this stuff will stay up here while you sleep though? Yep. <laughs> and she decorated the wall. So pretty. Maybe you should move the glass stuff just when you sleep at night. That would be good. She's got a little horse there. So pretty. I love it. There's a lot happening here. <laughs> I told him that I had big news, but I didn't want to tell until you, are, you, are you, were, sure. you, were, you were home. Oh, I see. So my big news is I am going to Japan. <laughs> That's not good news to me, but good news I'm to going that. to Japan. Our oldest son, Judah, if you didn't know, he is in Japan for nine months. He's on a church plant team. These boys are like legitimately <laughs> beating each other up over here. Uh -oh. oh, wait, wait, there's a baby, there's a baby. No wrestling here. Okay, anyhow, we made the boys stop wrestling because there's a small child in the room. <laughs> uh, have they stopped? Yes, they have. <laughs> they need to go to the gym. <laughs> they do, they need to get some aggression out. A punch, where's our punching bag? Not a punching bag, they need like a cage. They need a cage. <laughs> A uh, boxing ring. There you mm -hmm. go. Yeah, square it out. Anyway, in December, um, I was talking to Judah. He's like, oh, it'd be great if you could come in December. I'm like, I would love to come in December. Solo was there last year, so he just knows so much. When Judah's talking to him, he like he has a reference for everything he's saying, and I want that reference. So I am so excited that I'm going to go. I've got lists from the team of all the things they want me to bring. I'm I'm the representative mother for the moment uh, for everybody. I've got I'm I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be gone like a week or ten days in the middle of December, which is the craziest month, and that's nuts. But there's one more thing that we gotta tell you. Noel, you wanna go with me? Yes! Oh no, I, I will, I will. Okay, yeah, get out. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. We have waited, I actually haven't bought my ticket yet because we waited all this time because Noelle's pass, I really wanted to take Noelle and her passport just came through! What about me? We were waiting for the last minute. Oh, Eli, all of a sudden he's wanted to go to Japan too. <laughs> Oh man, deep breaths. <laughs> you should take both of them. I should. Yeah. Yeah. Should I really? <laughs> yeah, take both of them. Take them away from here. Yeah, take anyway, them. take them away from here. What? <laughs> Lu Luca I'll can take, take care of the chickens and the ducks. Yeah. The way, yeah, you know. So I'm so excited. Are you excited to, to go? Yes. You know, the leaders of the team have three young kids. Um, and What's Noelle's right? kind of in their age range, and they've been homesick too for where they left, so I think it'll be fun treat to have Noelle there. Judah's really excited about it. He knows that you're coming. Judah? Yes. <laughs> why do you, why do you the problem us? is that can they handle three people in that house? 
You want to call Judah and ask yeah, him? Yeah, I'll kick Noel out. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot about Japan. Okay, so what do you know? Some of the food. language, and it has good food. I learned how okay. to do karate. I learned karate. Okay, can you tell us some of the language? Tell me something. Uh, I don't want to right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. Can you can you speak Japanese? Arigato gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. So anyway, I'm really excited. I don't know, Judah was, or Eli was talking to Judah last night for a while, and he started deciding he really wanted to go and he's been begging me ever since. I yes. wish I could take two. I don't know if I can take two people. Okay, then what, what But anyway, I leave in one week. It's so, it's coming so fast. I have so much to do. That's why I've been working a lot. Although I'm gone about 10 days, it really will feel like two weeks. No, it'll feel like a year for me, so. <laughs> it's but. more like two weeks because <laughs> it's kind of two full weeks. No, yeah. so. why are That's awesome. we going though? You'll be you'll be just fine. It'll work out. <laughs> We've gotten the animals pretty a good routine for everybody for the winter. I think we've had some deep freezes a little bit, not deep freezes, but we had enough freezes that we know what's working and what's not working. So, and hopefully I'll be home before deep freezes. <laughs> I wish I could take you. If you were free still, I would have taken you. You turned two. <laughs> you still have an answer. Can I go? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> what? Are you really saying maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not the one taking people. This is the most last minute trip ever. <laughs> I have never been to Japan before, so I'm really excited. The closest I've ever been, well, I, I was in Hong Kong. That was probably the closest. And uh, I've been to the, the because I've been to the Philippines a few times. So, and that was Hong Kong was just the airports. All right, we talked to Judah just like we suspected. There's there's just not room. <laughs> it's a tiny house that they are all in, and there's not room for another one. But I'm so excited. Noelle and I are going to get a lot of time together, and we're going to get to explore a new place together. So it'll be a great bonding time for the two of us. And Judah's really excited, and the kids are, are excited about her coming. So. I'm so glad it went through. Flight wise, but it might be a cool one for you to go to. You change the airport, Ooh. Narita to uh, Haneda. So you get to see Tokyo a little bit more. It's an hour drive. We have to drive through the city to switch? No, they have uh, transportation that goes between those two airports. Oh, okay. It's just a transit. Uh, transit bus that goes from those two airports. It's buy a ticket day. I will feel really good when tickets are in hand. Actually, I wish I had that opportunity so I could see a lot more of Tokyo. Yeah, that would be awesome. <clears throat> I did that with London one time, my first time in London. was I went from Heathrow, Gatway to Heathrow. And it was nice. You felt like, although it was kind of outside of town, you feel like, okay, I've been to London before I was ever in London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a lot left to do tonight. I've been doing a lot for my business too, just trying to stay ahead. But it'll be so nice to see Judah. I, we've missed him a lot. The first couple months was super hard. Yeah. The first couple weeks was really hard. And then the first couple months was really hard. It just felt like it was dragging the time, like forever. And it was hard for him too, I know. So he would tell us that he was homesick and the whole team was. So I think it's pretty normal um, the first couple months. Um, but it has gotten easier, I will say. It's gotten easier. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, it ebbs and flows. It yeah, but and the goes. holidays, it just feels like someone's missing all the time. That's what yeah. we have to get used to. I think Thanksgiving was hard, mm -hmm. even for him. Yeah, and the kids kept talking about it. Yeah. It was hard here for the, all everybody. Not you, Luca. Except for Luca. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone with him. He's like, "Oh wait, isn't it like Thanksgiving over there?" <laughs> okay, it wasn't hard for him, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, when I talked to him, I said he wanted me to send pictures of the table, the food. Oh, the then people. he felt like he was missing out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Christmas won't be very easy. He does have a very short trip home in January that we mentioned because he's in his best friend's wedding. So. That'll be fun. We everybody will get to see him, and then he'll be gone again for a number of months. So, anyway, this is the first experience for us of a child not being around all the time, and it's not my favorite. And we got to go fun. through it a lot of times. Luca is thinking, wait, <laughs> Just I'm gonna wait. make sure I terrorize you. you know? <laughs> hey, Luca, are you going to? Uh, are you gonna leave early? Are you just gonna? Can you just stay till you get married? <laughs> Please, Luca. You can build a house on the property. We'll give you a corner. I'm leaving in a year of 
Mm -hmm. And we tried to talk them all into staying. Come in back. The, in build. Nebraska, you're still a child until you're 19. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be go it's so fun to go see him though. So I, I can't wait starting to think about what I need to take. This next week is a mountain to climb. That's what happens. You pay for it when you leave town, don't you? Yep. Yeah, He'll pay for it when I leave town. <laughs> I know. I'm dreading it, but I'm happy for you. Yes, thank you. Do you miss Judah? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you talk to him on the phone yeah. sometimes? Yes, you want to talk to him. One. You talk to him on the phone and eat popcorn at the same time? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Um, when I, we were talking to him yesterday. Yes. Oh, well, yes, yesterday you did eat popcorn and talk to him on the phone. Yeah, that's so true. Seth, do you want to go to Japan one day? Yeah. Would you like to see what Japan is like? When I turn back, I'm going to go to Cat. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are headed to the hospital to visit someone from our congregation that is there unexpectedly. So, um, Luca took over at home. Bella and Micah are at a, play, a musical practice, and we got everybody to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, don't forget to check out June's journey, and the, uh, the link is in the description box below. And we will take you along. I'll take you along to Japan soon too. Bye.